Oh, man, this sucks. Why the hell won't they let me leave already? I told the doctors I'm fine. And I don't have a stupid concussion. Uh, yeah, come in. Oh, good lord. It's you. What the hell do you want? To check on me? Well, don't. I'm fine, okay? I don't need your pity. Get out. You're the last person I want to see right now. Because... You fucking know why. So just go already. Don't make me ask you again. Well, no shit, I'm covered in bruises. That's what happens when you take on three guys by yourself. Hey, what the fuck? Don't cry, loser. Fine, you can stay for a minute. Just close the door behind you, okay? <sighs> I don't believe this. Don't thank me. Like I said earlier, I didn't do it for you. Those guys were just pissing me off, that's all. So don't you dare think for one second that I would defend someone like you. Will you shut up? Why are you acting this way? All apologetic and concerned and crying over me? You know I don't give a shit about you, right? Or your stupid feelings. I never have. And I wasn't following you home. We just happened to walk in the same direction, and I just happened to see what those guys were doing, okay? I know I didn't have to stop them. <sighs> Could we just forget about it? There was no reason. I just hate punks like that. I mean, yes, I am one too, but... Not in the same way that they were. I would never... <sighs> uh, forget it. Look, you came and you saw me. I'm fine, alright? I'm just waiting for the doctor to give me the okay to leave. Well, I don't know. They had to do some x-rays or something. But I don't think I have any broken bones. I can still move my arm okay. I mean, my shoulder hurts, but... It's not a big deal. And my head injury isn't that bad. They did not get the best of me. I'm the one who knocked all three of them out, or did you forget? I mean, sure, they got a few good hits in first, but... Nothing to worry about. And like I said, I wasn't defending your stupid honor or anything dumb like that. We just all happened to be walking in the same direction. And down the same alleyway. That's all. Coincidence, nothing more, alright? What do you mean I'm not telling you the truth? Ugh, why are you so irritating? Because nobody picks on you except me, moron. Alright? Now get that through your head. You're mine to torment. And only mine. Okay, good. Don't ever forget it. But hey, while we're on the subject, do you know why those guys were following you home? I mean, besides what I saw, I didn't hear anything before I turned the corner. What were they saying to you? I mean, I don't care or nothing. Just curiosity. What? 
They seriously told you to do that? Damn those monsters. Ugh. Now I regret not doing more. Should have had them arrested too. Wait, are you serious? They were? Damn. I guess I must have missed that. Oh, right. I mean, I was on the ground from my head injury. Of course that stupid guy had to hit me with a rock. <sighs> if not for that, I would have walked away without a scratch. He was not twice my size. Will you at least give me some credit? I kicked all three of their asses. And by the time I was done, they all looked ten times worse than I did at the end. So stop making it sound like I'm helpless. If anything, you were the one who didn't do shit out there. All you did was cower and cry. Not that I can blame you for that. I'm sure it was actually kind of traumatizing for you. Uh, uh, but anyway, I'm sure you're fine, right? Not really. God damn it. This is why I didn't want to start a conversation. Huh? Okay, fine. How are you doing then? Still shaken up, huh? Yeah, I bet. They got arrested and are probably going to be charged with assault or something. So you don't have to worry about seeing them again. And as for me, I'm perfectly fine. Just a few bumps and bruises. Nothing too serious. So stop worrying. What do you mean you can't believe I did that? Uh, I get it. It was definitely out of character for me. Especially with me picking on you on the daily. My body just moved on its own. I didn't really have time to think. I mean, could you imagine what they would have done to you if I would have waited a second longer? Look, I'm not saying that you can't defend yourself. I know you're more than capable of fighting back. But the odds weren't really in your favor, you know? I mean, I only stood a chance because I'm a black belt. I have a lot of fighting experience. Both in the studio and on the street. So I knew I could take them all on. But you... Honestly, I didn't think you stood a chance. I'm not trying to hurt your feelings or anything, just... It wasn't worth waiting to see what you would do, alright? So I had to take action. You can't exactly blame me for that. Yeah, yeah, I get it. You're beyond grateful. Now will you knock it off? This doesn't change anything between us. Yeah, I took a few hits for you, so what? I'm still going to treat you the same as I always have. So stop giving me that hopeful look. Oh, and stop asking me why. I've already told you. Just something about you. You've always pissed me off. God damn it. It's like you're not even listening to me half the time. This is part of why you annoy me so much. Crying does nothing. It's not going to help the situation. And it's sure as hell not going to make you feel better. So just give it a rest. Hey. I didn't give you permission to touch me. I get it, you're sorry, alright? You can stop that. Uh, why the hell are you being so clingy? I told you my injuries aren't that bad. There's no reason for you to be scared anymore. 
right, all right, fine. Will you just let go of me? I'll admit it, okay? I do care about you. A lot, actually. And for some reason, I knew something bad was going to happen to you today. Whether it was just whispers around the school or... I don't know, something about the air. So I decided to follow you home just in case. As soon as I saw those guys and what they were doing, I had this strange urge to protect you. But don't you see? That's what I've been doing all this time. You're such an easy target for people. So I thought that if everyone saw me picking on you, the popular kid, that no one would give you a second thought. And it worked, didn't it? I was the only one who picked on you at school. No one else dares. Well, yeah. I mean, I know I've been kind of harsh lately. And I do hurt your feelings a lot. But I thought I was doing the right thing. Maybe it was selfish of me. To keep everyone away from you, but... Can you blame me? You're so sensitive. More so than everyone else. And it was only a matter of time before other people caught on and started teasing you too. So I had to step it up. That way I made everyone else feel bad for you. So nobody said anything. I get it if you hate me. Or think I'm a monster, but... I... <sighs> really? Now you're going to give me a lecture? Okay, I got it. Jesus, you don't have to yell. I'm sorry, okay? You're right. I was a first-class jerk. And it was completely wrong. And totally unacceptable. There's nothing I can do or say to make up for my behavior. And after seeing what just happened, I want to be closer to you than ever. I want to walk you to school and walk you home. Maybe even sit with you at lunch, if that's okay. But I don't care what other people say, damn it. I only picked on you to keep other people away. But now I see that it doesn't matter. People are going to come for you regardless of what I do. Just because of how nice you are. It's the way the world is. So you need someone strong and dependable like me to look after you. We've known each other since elementary school. And you know I was always around. Even if I wasn't the nicest. You don't even know. Half the people I had to beat up in elementary school for you. And even in junior high. If anyone even tried, I was always there. I'd give them one glance and they'd back off. Because they all knew that I was stronger. Well, of course you didn't see it. You're oblivious to everything. <sighs> it actually feels kind of good to tell you all of this. Even though I never was going to. But this isn't the first fight I've gotten in for you. And I'm sure it won't be the last. They've just never managed to get so close before. And I'm sorry about that. If I had been just a little bit faster... Uh, hey. What are you doing? Why are you leaning on my chest? It's just awkward is all. You've never been this close to me. At least not for a long time. Thank you. <sighs> what am I going to do with you? Stop being so nice. It's how you got into this mess in the first place. And maybe you should carry some things on you. 
I don't know. Something to protect yourself with. Because I asked you to. It'll set my mind at ease. At least, a little bit more. There, there. I'm fine, see? It could have been a lot worse. But I appreciate your concern. Don't give me that look. I can't stand it when you look at me like that. It's like you have pity in your eyes or something. Or they look sad. I don't like it. Go back to being your happy bubbly self, okay? I know what will cheer you up. How about a real apology? In the only way that I know how. I'm sorry. There you go. That's a much better face you're making now. Uh, shock? <laughs> From now on, I promise to take better care of you. I won't let anything like this ever happen again. And will you please go out with me? It'll be easier for me to keep you safe if I'm close to you all the time. I know it's a lot to ask, and it's completely out of the blue, so I understand if you say no. I realize I have a lot of things I need to make up for, but this is a start, right? It is. You really think so? Wait, are you serious? You're really saying yes to me? After everything I did... You don't know how happy that makes me. I promise I won't screw it up this time. I'll be the best boyfriend you ever had. And I don't care what anyone else thinks. I'm going to keep you safe. No matter what it costs me. You're very welcome. Now enough of this... weirdness. It's time for you to go. Don't worry, I'll be okay. I'm going to call the doctor back in and see what the holdup is. I'm pretty sure I should be cleared to go home by tonight. Alright. Call you when they let me out? You really want that? I mean, uh, yeah, of course. I'll call you. Or shoot you a text or whatever. Now get out of my hospital room. Before you make me do something else that I'll regret. Like what? Uh, you're so innocent. Like things, okay? Just go and stop hugging on me. Wait. Uh. Sorry. I wanted to give you one last kiss. Just to make sure I wasn't dreaming. Yeah, but... Uh, mm, uh, uh, mm, uh, damn it all. Now you really need to leave. Because you just... Uh, never mind. If you don't know by now, I'm not going to explain it to you. So just get out. Oh, and thank you for coming to see me. I was actually really glad that you did. Uh, <clears throat> Alright. Now get out, loser. Yeah, yeah, I'll text you, okay? Okay. Bye. Hey there, my little kitten. Thank you so much for listening. Now you're going to hit that like button and subscribe. Because I told you to. Then you're going to go down to the comment section and let me know what you thought of the video. After that, you're going to click the link down below. 
and join my Patreon. I think it's time you and I got to know each other better. We'll have one-on-one -on -one conversations. You'll get to choose the next spicy ASMRs. And I might even give you a nickname or two. Daddy Aki's gonna take really good care of you. All you have to do is let me. So what are you waiting for? And with that out of the way, it's time for you to go drink some water and do a little self-care today. That's an order, not a request. I'll see you next time. Love, Akihiko Kai.